of blinking on here. I don't know what the hell's going on. I had to go up in the back there and shut that stupid uh, Murphy switch off. I think it's oil pressure and water level or something. I don't know. I checked everything. Everything is good. So it must be a sensor. So I hooked the, uh, <laughs> I hooked the fuel shut off uh, to the pump. And then, well, we've been having some having some fuel issues here so I went to the old co-op in town got myself a drill pump sucked the tank out uh, into my slip tank blew it over there drained all the rust and shit out of the bottom come back and uh, rinse a little bit of clean fuel in there and then we uh, drained the rest of that stuff and we ended up catching a fair bit of rust out of there so I'm hoping that the end of our fuel issue I'm not sure I've done just about a full hopper here without having any issues so yeah I don't know anyway we're 70% full here so we'll go up to the old kosher patch and then go dump on the big white truck I think I might move it out of the way yet I'm not sure but I don't want to leave it parked on my new alfalfa so anyway that's about it uh, She's just been a run around harvest. Fucking go here, go there. Shit breaks, that breaks, this breaks. Oh, fuck. Never ending. I'm trying to get bailing done at night, and yeah, it's uh, just been a shit show, but. Anyway, hopefully we're going good now. We're down to uh, this barley. The lentils seem to run pretty good there, so. The. Uh, Carter got one quarter of canola off. And what else? My partner and dad there, I guess, they got his quarter off. And I started on this barley. I uh, got the wheat done. It was fucking terrible. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah, grow some wheat, yeah. Feed the world for nothing. Fuck them. That damn bullshit. Should go on strike. It's like everybody else. Oh well, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna uh, <coughs> go dump here right away. Kick her down a notch in the old idler stick. Put the auger out. Might as well dump this in there because we won't make a, make a full round on this 20 acres. Like I said, she's running pretty, running pretty dandy. But whatever we'll just keep going as we can that's how she goes we're gonna dump her in this big truck We've got small semi loads here once i get these two truck loads and i can head over to the uh i gotta move the auger after so i'll probably phone mom and that sassy's around not working today or whatever i'm pretty sure she's busy again but we'll see how that goes patches here that didn't come up with the alfalfa. I don't know why. Must be super salty areas. Have to get in touch with my Brett Young guy. And say, what the heck? Didn't establish here. Something's wrong. Over there looks good. That little patch there is we farmed that little piece, but it's all the way around the creek. You can see where those bales are. A couple bales there. That was like uh, old green feed. One there shitty one there it's a core of kosher but whatever it's how she goes i started bailing some straw last night and even the barley straw got tough last night I started to wrap on my rollers on the outside rollers a little never in the inside <clears throat> can always tell right away because my uh my belts usually sit there and spin freely And if they, uh, if they don't, you know you got tension somewhere, which means you got straw or some sort of debris wrapped up on your uh, on your rollers. And I had trouble with that last year a little bit, that night. Bail in the daytime, 100% fine. It's just when the, the humidity sets in and it gets real damp like that. And then uh, it seems like the tillers, the tillers on the barley like to wrap up on their 
Anyway. Just about done dumping here. We'll go back to where we're taking our second round. Actually, maybe we'll go to the... We'll go finish the first round, maybe. That side over there ran almost 100, so... That's pretty good. Pretty damn good for this year. That fucking barley looked like shit. Pretty bad when you're growing feed for cattle and you're getting paid more for uh, feed for livestock than you are for humans. So what a fucking joke. God damn this government better smarten up here already. Sickening. Okay, what the heck am I going to do? Well, Karch made it up to the... Said he made it up to that far slough, so... Maybe we'll just go up there. We'll bring that, bring that one second round around, and then look at the wind raising havoc with my straw and kosher. That's all right. Stupid wind. They'll still make a bale. Whatever's left, they'll get harrowed. I think I'm gonna put barley here again next year. Try to get this. Fucking coach on the control along this creek, it's just insane. Tried every every chemical under the book, but the guys gotta keep doing it, I guess. Bring you back when I get over to the uh, uncombine swaths. I gotta finish the headland here, and then we can start start cleaning up this stuff inside. Nice. Not a very nice day today. Super smoky forest fires blowing down. Oh boy. This wind can bugger off too, son of a gun. It's blowing my swaths all over the place. Dang it. Oh well. So I think what we're gonna do here is take the second round on the slough. tried burning and working up that slough before, but uh, she's a kind of, uh, she's a little deep in there. She's always full of water in the spring. Same with these over here. So, there's really no point in even wasting your time. There's a couple over there in the new hay ground, though. I wouldn't mind two of them right over there. I'm trying to uh, possibly rip those up or just cut them. Putting combine barley through the combine. Nice. Alrighty, gotta go straight so that drops all on the road. Then we're gonna head over here. Kind of thing turns like a bus. Not very sharp. Gonna go right here. Then we're gonna turn. Turn the old bus. Don't miss any old girl. Come on, Melro. Pick her up. There we go. Oh, that might be a little much. This old girl, she'll eat, but she likes to throw her up on the old straw walkers every now and again. I right, just go slow like this and let her eat. Box your words, good. No grain loss, lights don't even come on. When you uh, just take your time, let her combine the old girl. Got a bunch of uh, potion here. That's fine, though. That'll bail up. Pure kosher. Fertilized with a, with a shot of barley. Nice. 
jump into a badger hole. Alright, I got lots of turning here. I'm going to bring you back in a little bit, I think. <clears throat> lots of little whoop de -woos here, so. Better work good now, you old bugger. Treated you to a jug of sea foam. You better treat me nice. Just plugged off the old fuel line there again. It's not bad. Just plugged out the front hopper to the semi full this time. Before, uh. <laughs> Before she let me down. Come on, Paul, what the hell? As you can see, the wind is having fun with our swaths here. Oh well. Anyways, hopefully it's gonna be good now. Let's, let's give it a try. Something going on in that pickup tube down in the bottom there. I'm not sure if I can actually take that apart or not. Maybe check it out tomorrow when it rains. For today and tonight, we're gonna combine as much as we can and try and get us bailed up as much as we can tonight. And that's that. I let her clean out pretty good here this last time, so should be all right. We'll see. Mm -hmm. She's a little bit side gusty, but that's fine. Like I said, we'll bail up what we can, herald the rest. Might be a, a decent idea that I guys should have brought some uh, swather canvas hanging down the back there, but oh well, I didn't. And we can't really shut down because we need to worry about getting all the straw. Oh well. Remember this happened to me and Brendan Panna once, old BCP Parma Truck and I, I. I just recall this doing the oats <clears throat> with the same combine. We dropped the straw, went to go bail it, and the freaking wind just took havoc on her, blew her every way, and uh, I had to get him to come rake it so I could bail him. That was, that was suck. I remember that. But, uh, anyway, we got lots of bales that time, I guess. some oats again that'd be that'd be nice i should have grew some this year oh well easy in here old claws don't plug her up old girl better take my clutch up there we go i'll just sing her through here nice a lot of straw coming out the back of her a lot of green coming in her too. Oh. <laughs> ah, shit. Well, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update here of what's going on. I got a bunch of footage uh, set up here on my phone and I gotta get to editing it. But you know what? The guy's up at six, home at midnight or later. Fuck it, I don't got time to make bitches for you guys. So this is just an easy one. Couple little clips in there. Just to let you go what's know what's going on. Our uh, I gotta go round up some heifers here one day. Uh, the neighbor's bull decided to break the gate on us and uh, ended up in our cows and then they all left, so yeah, fuck sakes. Anyway guys. 
guys, thanks for watching. I don't know if the merch store is going or not. I fucking don't know. Check it out if it is. Nobody told me nothing, so. Anyway, I'll uh, get back to you on the next video here. Once we get a rain day, I'll try to get a few uploaded here for you. So, get back on the old regular once a week there deal. And that's kind of the plan, so. Anyway, for now, we're just going to be working away. Making a video is the last of my list. Sorry, folks. That's how she goes around here. Talk to you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging around the shit show.